Hello busy professional, if you're struggling with note taking and retrieving your notes later on, then this video is for you because today we will introduce our new framework. It's called the iCore note taking framework. If you follow the paperless movement, you know the iCore framework that we have where you can lay out your tools to get a bird's eye view on the tools that you use in your productivity system end to end. And the iCore note taking framework is something similar that allows you to understand Finally, what the different note-taking tools are used for and which combination of note-taking tools you need to build up a highly efficient personal knowledge management system. So let's dive into this. Here we are, this is the new framework and this will be part of the new digital note-taking course that it will launch later this month. So if you haven't joined the Paperless Movement membership yet, I recommend to do this now because prices will increase pretty soon. So you can secure the actual pricing and be the first watching the new digital note-taking course. So this is part of this digital note-taking course and you see here is the framework and the six areas that we are talking about in this digital note-taking course. So each of these is a workflow inside the course that we will go into detail how to do this. Okay, and I think the best example to start with this ICO framework to bring in a tool and try to lay it out on this framework. So one tool that I know that many are using is Apple Notes. So let's try to add this to the framework, okay? By just simply going through the different personal knowledge management sections here. So here we have jot things down. That's about really quickly to take some notes, like you have a piece of paper and you write it down there. So for Apple Notes, obviously, this could be on the very outside. And the difference is if I would place it here, this would mean it's not so good in this section. And this means that's very good. And then we have a midterm to make it really pragmatic to very quickly lay out your tools. All this next one, we will go to this, which is develop thinking. So let's bring this over. And when we think about Apple Notes, this is not a tool that we consider that is good to develop your thinking. It's easy to collect notes and so on, but developing your thinking needs a lot more. It needs to have cross connections of your notes. It has to have a visual whiteboard, for example, that you can lay out the notes and you really can go deep into this. Mind mapping is also part of the developing your thinking and so on. So that's why we place it here. If you think this is different and you can do it, you will be able just to lay it out differently, just place it somewhere else. It's a very subjective feeling, but that's what we think that Apple Notes is placed in. The next one is this one, which is the closest to paper experience. So obviously, using Apple Notes on your iPad and maybe with a paper-like screen protector. This is the thing that gets as close as possible. That has a huge thing. Obviously, I could now, for example, place the Remarkable in here as well, the tablet, even as a hardware device, and do the same exercise here. So what else do we have? This one which is writing, connecting information. This means this is where you really connect the information like using backlinks and things like that. And I think we can bring it into the middle because tags can be used in Apple Notes and therefore it allows you some kind of connecting information and retrieve it easier. But it's not fully fledged like in Obsidian or other tools. And now let's go further to this one. And those of you who went through the iCore Mastery course inside the Paperless Movement membership, you know what this is. This is the capturing beast. That's something we teach in this course. And here in this framework, it is notes on third party content. So this means everything that you capture using a web clipper or videos that you see, articles that you want to save using readvice and things like that. And this is how good this tool is to easily capture information. And I would say Apple Notes is good if you're in the Apple ecosystem. But for example, if you're on a Windows browser, then you're stuck. You cannot just send information to Apple Notes. So it really depends again on this. But considering that you can easily scan documents and things like that, I place it in the middle here. And then the final one, this one, the ones that go beyond. So here we will place tools that really have a lot more to offer than just simple knowledge management or note taking. So for example, ClickUp, a project manager, also have the options to take notes, as I have shown in another video, that you can do a lot of note taking in ClickUp actually, but it is also a fully fledged project manager and I have an end to end solution. So for example, ClickUp would be placed here, but if I lay out ClickUp on the other things, it would be strong here, but not so strong in the other categories. So now let's bring this in and this goes not far beyond. It's a plain note taking app. So for a comparison, let's bring in Notion and do the same exercise again. Let's start here again to jot things down. I would say 
I put it here because Notion always gave me frictions to get in and find the right spot where I need to take simple notes to jot things down. It's really about temporary notes, quick notes, then develop deep thinking. I can, I would say here, okay? So the limitation in Notion, I think, is really the lack of a visual feedback that I have a map like we are here on Miro, for example, and you see this is developing thinking exactly what I do here, this exercise. And that's something I cannot do in Notion, but I can do a lot more in Notion already, creating cross-linked databases, having mentions of the nodes, uh, synced blocks and things like that, that allows me to reframe my information in different areas and come up with new ideas. Then does it have paper experience? No, not at all. So I don't add anything here. Then linking, okay? So here I would say it's very strong in linking because especially with the databases that you can build up and then mention it in other nodes and so on. Then the capturing beast and as they have a lot of automations and integrations also with readwise and so on, I would say it's pretty strong, maybe in the mid, but that's a subjective thing that we talk about here. And then the one that goes beyond. Many use Notion also for project management, the doubling down on project management. So I would consider that Notion goes way beyond of being a simple note-taking tool. So now you see already a perspective on the outside the strong things that these tools can do and that you might want to consider then to use the tool for these lanes. Okay, so for example, for cross-linking, I would rather use Notion instead of Apple Notes. Same for developing thinking and things like that. Now, in a recent video, you saw that we officially announced that we are going all in with Heptabase. And let's see where Heptabase is placed in this icon note-taking framework. So let's start here again to jot things down. I would rather say in the middle because I can open it up and quickly create a card that just stands in a card library and I have a kind of inbox because it's sorted by the latest cards and therefore it's better than Notion because in Notion I always have to find a place where I store the information in. Obviously I could create an inbox in Notion but these are not the things that we want to discuss today and now to the develop your deep thinking and this is where we think Heptabase really shines above many other tools because this is made to develop your thinking. It's amazing how you can use the whiteboards and the cross connections and everything that you really can boost your cognitive developments in Heptabase. Obviously there is no paper like feeling to it but again when it comes to cross-linking it's very strong there as well. You have the backlinks, you have tags that you can build databases out of this so that's very strong that's why we place it here. And then the capturing beast I would place it here. Right now there is no web clipper. That's something they're working on, but I still have, for example, the readwise integration. So it's easy to bring this in. So I'm not sure as I can also add a lot of rich content like videos and so on and PDF files. We could place it here as well, but for now let's place it here. And then it goes beyond what for it is made. And I would say, no, that's not at all because there is no task management or anything going on in Heptabase. That's we want to place it here. I hope this gives you some ideas how you can lay this out for yourself. Make sure to join the Paperless Movement membership and share it with other members in there. Our co-founder Paco Cantero and I are personally in there. We give you feedback on the tools you use, maybe recommendations to fill some gaps that you might be missing on this map as soon as you have laid it out. And once the digital note-taking course launches, this will be key and we will go in a very deep detail of each of these different sections that you saw on this framework. If you like this, go to the comments below, let us know, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so I can catch you up next time.